This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This program works identically to the one you just wrote. Okay, in part three. If you didn't do that, go back and do that. If you need help, watch my video. <laughs> but it's been organized differently because some functions return a value instead of logging it to the console. And return means to like push out, spit out, give us. Read the code to the program. Finish the code for the random complement function. Use the complements and the code for random greeting to help. All right, let's go zoop and let's take a look. Ah, so now we have functions. Okay, and these look normal. Let's hit run. Yep, undefined. Okay, that's not good. Great. So here's what we got. Council.log random greeting. What this is doing then is, well, first greet and compliment Benjamin. The computer's going to say, okay, greet and compliment, what's that? Smack, and it hits this function. Once it does hit this function, it says name, what's name? Uh, and it goes back to where it was called. Oh, name's Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin. And grabs it. So now name is Benjamin, and we're running the function. We dip down, and we're going to council log random greeting plus name. What does that mean? This is still a function call. So we're saying log to the council random greeting and the computer says we log random greeting. Okay, wait, what's log? What what's random greeting? <laughs> Smack. Hits this and it runs the code. Okay? And so now we have a greeting, we have a random greeting. We're going to return a greeting. So ran, var random greet is equal to greeting a random index, a random number is picked. So random greeting the list we pick some random number, 0 to the end of the list minus 1. So any of these indexes, and we make random greet equal to one of those saying. So let's say it's equal to 1 right now, so this. Or if it's equal to index 0, random number comes 0, good day. That would mean random greet is good day. We then return random greet. So we say, okay, give back random greet. And that means where we ran this random greeting, well, what is it? It's a council log. So then it will log out what was just returned. Good day. It will print to the council good day plus that person's name. Now, same thing here. Council log name plus random complement. Computer says, what the heck's random complement? Smack. Hits this. And you can see the list, right? We have a list of random complements. But we're missing something. We need to pick a complement. And then we got to use a return which will make random complement return that complement, push back that complement to where it was running. So when a function finishes like this, when it, we return the functions over and it returns it exactly to where we were running in the code. And that's why council log will have a greeting. So let's go ahead and get it to log out a complement or run random complement is run. Uh, I'm going to need a we can do it like they did for clarity. I'll do var equals. Okay. And then let me put some blank lines so it's easier to read. And then let's go ahead and have our list here. No, not our list. Our variable is uh, complement, I'll just say. Okay. And then what I need now is my list. So let me grab that list. And then what's my list name? Compliments. And then I want a random number. So I'm headed over to map and I'm going to grab a random number and drop. And it will be zero to whatever my list is named here. Compliments dot length. And this is much better to do than counting out how many items are in your list. Because if you ever change it, everything gets wrecked. So you want a random number from zero to the end of your list minus one. And that is because list.length will tell you how many items. Say you have nine items in a list. But because indexes start at zero, if you have nine items in your list, you have items that index zero and then all the way through eight. So if random number returned nine, because the length was nine, that'd be a problem. So we only let it do length minus one. So zero to length minus one. All right. And then what? Well, then we need to return our complement. So this will randomly grab one of these guys and shove it in our variable complement, but we need to push it back to up here. And to do that, we need to have our function return and return what? My variable here, complement. And if it does so, when it pushes complement back, 
Where does it push it back to? Oh, look, a council log. So a name will be in front of it and the compliment. Let's give it a shot. But, uh, astonishing. These are cool. Great. That is, yeah, these are getting tough, but important stuff. Let's, uh, oop, not a break. Let's keep going.